Hey, Sean and Sav on special assignment here in Cabo at uh, El Dorado, one of the Discovery properties. What an honor it is to be here. And uh, we want to show you today why the Ford Press is such a powerful setup for every shot in the book. It literally guarantees lag in the swing. And once again, Sav just came back from a fresh competition, placed fifth in uh, her competition long drive out in Huntington Beach, California. And we can't Ooh, say, can't we can't say, say but she did really good in the team, uh, team event. Stay How... tuned for the team event on ESPN in July. ESPN in July, you know, stay tuned. In the meantime, let's get forward pressing. One of the things that Sav does so well for a long drive competitor, your short game is on point. And a lot of my students ask me, hey, can I use that strong grip for the short game? Absolutely you can. The only thing is that you're not going to have as closed a face depending upon the lie. You'll, you might have to open the face more in certain lies and some lies maybe a little less. For here, we have a stock chip shot. Let's look at what Savvy has for us. Just to remind you, see that grip? If I'm hammering down, I'm hammering this way. If I'm hammering through, I'm hammering this way. Guess where Savvy's, Savvy's hammering this way. So, you gonna do a little practice swing, Sav? Notice how long her arms are. We're using the bottom of the arc to perform that shot. All we gotta do is shave grass in that direction. And that was superb. Gideon, nice try, Sav. Let's try another one. So if we find that the leading edge is digging a little bit. This wasn't bad. I mean, in Bermuda grass, this is very yeah. acceptable. <laughs> I was going to say, is that, that was, Bermuda? That was a center hit. So if you open the face a smidge more, there you go. You'll find that, see how it glides along the surface of the ground better? Yeah. So now we're using the bounce of the club. And it's just going to stay along the surface of the ground. Oh, that's so good. What's really sweet about this golf course here, the greens are actually at a 13 and a half on the stint meter. Insanely fast. Insanely fast. And it's been so much fun because they're so true. Probably the truest greens in Cabo. So let's do one more. Yeah, usually that chip would have been like just enough. Yes. At a regular course. Yes. <laughs> awesome. Look at the run on that ball right there. It's still going. Very cool, Sav. So next stop, pitching. To illustrate how through the ball and how automatic lag works, if you're hammering down on something and then you want to hammer through, we're hammering towards the target. So when you turn your hammer in that direction, notice the hands are hanging naturally in front of the ball and it's automatic lag. So we have our divot pattern here. The, the camera was off on the first go and we had like the perfect divot pattern for you. So notice the, the ball is at the back of the divot. We're putting another ball right here to show you what that looks like. Go ahead and set up, Sav. Awesome. So notice she's playing the ball a little bit back of center in her stance and look at that position where the hands are hanging naturally in front of the ball. So all she's got to do now is just let the arms fall through there. Now look at that. The hits just keep on coming. Look at that perfect divot. You could take this ball and put it right there next to that one and use the same divot. Go ahead. That is just freaking get in. <laughs> wow, what a shot. So, do you think that's fun? Notice chipping, pitching, how easy that is? Let's go to the bunker shots and we'll show you how, you know, the reason why you've been having trouble in the bunkers, taking too much sand, trying to lift the ball, because you don't have enough forward press. Let's go. Sav, you gotta love the presentation they have here in the bunkers. <laughs> it's so huh? fancy. It's so fancy. <laughs> and just around the corner there, you can hear the music. There's a little uh, hospitality suite there where they got all kinds of goodies. 
They got a kids park right here. I mean, this is so family oriented. It's so laid back. It's so much fun being here. You just, you breathe a sigh of relief, yeah. right? So that, and that's what it's all designed to do. So we're in the bunker and we're not even stressed. Why? Because we have a natural forward press. Now, so many of you think that you gotta be lifting the sand. All we want to do is imagine there's water here in the pool and I want to spray some water towards somebody. Notice the angle of my hand here. I'm just going to run my hand along the water. So when you open up the face of the club salve, see that? We still have the hands in front. So the hands are still pulling the club through and notice how when the, the club face is open, what that does is it exposes the bounce on the sole of the club so that now when you run the club along the surface of the sand, you're spraying a divot of sand out onto the green where you want the ball to land. What that requires is for you to pull the club through and lag is every bit as important here, whether it's a fairway bunker or a greenside bunker like this one. And look at how gorgeous that is. That came out and landed like a butterfly with sore feet. So if you want to go further, Sav, what are you going to do? More momentum. More momentum to do what? Throw the sand. There you go. And there it goes. Now we're at that second flag stick. Man, you couldn't do it any better than that, Sav. <laughs> You've become uh, quite the expert around the greens. You've, you Even definitely have the tools. Driver. For a long driver, I think you, you got the best touch out there. Amazing. Amazing. That's gorgeous. So from there, let's go to a flop shot. An intermediate point down just to show you, uh, just as far as the line is concerned, Sav is going to stay to the right of this intermediate point. Now, the flop shot is the identical twin technically to the bunker shot except in the bunker we're spraying sand over here we're sawing through the dandelion stem from heel to toe so when you open the face <clears throat> right so we're going to play the ball forward to center so the center of her stance is there notice that's perpendicular to the alignment of her heels and the ball's just a hair forward of that so sav perfect ball position Notice now the leading edge is um, just slightly above the ground. We're going to be using the sole of the club so it doesn't dig too much. And when she comes through the ball, it's sawing from heel through toe in that direction. So all she has got to do is let the arms fall through that sawing action. All right. I mean, the divot was perfect. Yeah, not enough momentum. Amazing. That landed like a butterfly with sore feet. Just superb. So forward to center. Club face is open. There you go. Let it fall through that stem. Amazing. So what that also does is it puts you in an incredible position behind the ball, moving through and along the surface of the ground. Look at how wide those divots are, right? That's her moving the club along the surface of the ground instead of moving it into the ground and, and doing a chunk shot. Mm -hmm. That first shot wasn't really a chunk, you just didn't have enough momentum. Yeah. So we're just gonna let that momentum cut through and the other two were just like perfectly dropped right over, this, right over the bunker. Yeah. So, you know, she's, she's not a Bermuda girl. Yet yet <laughs> all right so let's i'm going to show you all four of those shots righty so that you see the right-handed version and then we're going to show you the seven iron the long irons the fairway woods and the driver especially the driver imagine forward pressing the driver gives you the most amazing launch angle out there and sets you up to get the best numbers for long accurate drives that have lots of lag, lots of launch angle, and very, very low spin. Stay tuned. Are 
you guys are in for a treat. We got Sav here. She's going to do a mid iron, a long iron, a fairway wood, and the driver. And you'll see how exquisite that forward press is. And it's just a natural forward press. Again, when I'm hammering down with a hammer and then I'm going to hammer through, notice how I get behind the ball. That's where you see this little pre turn. And during this pre turn, you see that forward press. And it's so natural. All she's got to do is just let it release through. Let's see one. Oh, that's sweet. Super deluxe. Oh, yeah. Oh, baby, look at that. It's almost in the hole. <laughs> that is so beautiful. So you just hit that. That's 180 into a stiff breeze. We've got about a two club win in the face right now. It's a good thing, too, because the range is only 290 deep. And uh, we've, been, uh, we've been peppering the back of the range for, since this morning, right? Yeah. I think, I think they'll be happier with us now. Oh, how good is that? Just flew right over that red flag towards that white flag at the back. It's just gorgeous. So you saw that seven wood she just hit. Same deal. You're catching ball first, then turf. So you need that lag. Now watch the difference with the driver here. I know many of you are looking with a lot of interest. Have a look at that setup. Let's explain the setup. See how sexy those grips are? Those are the new Rippet grips. Yeah. The LA golf shaft and the new dark speed head. Oh my gosh, what a setup you got there. So doesn't that feel now, even though your hands are in front of the ball, you feel like you're going to catch that sucker on the way up. Yeah. So we're flicking the tee on the way up in the direction of that intermediate point. Oh, nice ball. So we're hitting low draws into the breeze here. Oh, baby. That was so good. One more. Just landing now. One more. Yeah, she's, uh, she's the Energizer bunny when it comes to hitting balls. Just a little toey. Okay. Nice ball. Come on in a little more. That's it. It's caught, caught a piece of that fairway. Oh, that is so good. That is landing at the white flag, which is 280 from here, into the wind. Let's have a look for the righty. I'll just give you a quick brush through with those, those four shots as a right-handed player. So you see the right-handed's perspective. And uh, we hope uh, that you enjoy the rest of the video. So just as a tidbit of information, since I've gone to a stronger grip, I've been able, my power fades have been a half club longer and my full shots have been a club longer. And so I'm getting more compression on the ball. And so we got that nice strong grip. And then you feel how those hands are naturally hanging in front of the ball. Can you see that? And now all I'm going to do is let everything hang from my shoulders, use the weight of that arm club unit to deliver through this compression to the right edge of that intermediate point. Oh my. That is so good. See that just... Mm, squeeze through the ball. Let's look at the four iron. You'd think by squeezing more down and through that you'd have trouble with the height of the long irons. I'm getting the same height because I'm getting more penetrating trajectory, more spin on the ball, more fizz. So same thing again here. Look at how strong that grip is. See how my hands are naturally hanging in front of the ball. Feel the weight of that arm club unit. through and out into that picture. Man, that feels good.
That was too much fun. Let's do another one. There it is. Oh, yeah. Just awesome. Just awesome. That was 200 yards into the breeze, two club to three club wind. <laughs> fairway woods. By the way, this fairway wood from Cobra, the dark speed, has a titanium head and it feels unbelievable. So there it is, strong grip. Notice how everything's hanging naturally in front of the ball, going through the same thing. Hear that sound? Oh, that feels so good. It just feels like you have nothing to do except let the momentum through. Oh man, look at that. <laughs> oh man. Driver, let's go. So look at how that, see my, my lag already? So backswing, target, target, target. See how the hands come through first? And then the club head unleashes to flick the tee in that direction. So we're gonna go, actually, a little power fade instead. Left edge bunker to flag stick. Oh yeah. Yeah, it's not bad. You can play. <laughs> oh, that's big. That stayed left center of the fairway, but that was deep, Sav. Yeah, really good. All right. Will you guys get the picture? This is how we have natural forward press to lead us through with compression. You get the compression from the strong grip. You get the forward lean from the strong grip. You get through the ball with the strong grip. So what are you waiting for? Come on into wisdomingolfpremium.com. We show you how it's done. And then you get to enjoy the same satisfaction we do right here at Wisdom and Golf. All the best.